Hey folks, this is Joe from Joe's Classic Car Radio, and we're in the middle of an FMR1 conversion on a 1959 Cadillac Wonder Bar radio. Wonder Bar was Delco's version of a signal-seeking tuner, meaning that you could press a button on the front of the radio, or in some cases a foot switch, and the radio would automatically move down the dial to the next strong station and stop. Now at this point in our process, we've already restored the tuner, and we've, we're hooking it up to power so that we can make sure that everything runs smoothly and to see if any more adjustments are needed before we finish assembling the radio. I thought you guys might find it interesting to see how these signal-seeking tuners work. I'll give you a basic overview, and then I'll show it to you in action. Basically, this gear assembly here is what moves the dial pointer across the dial. It's controlled by this gearbox, which has three gears with a weighted flywheel on one. This allows the dial pointer to move in a slow, smooth motion instead of just jumping across the dial. The starting and stopping of this assembly is done by this relay. And it might be a little hard to see in this video, but there's a finger that comes off the relay which physically reaches inside the gearbox and stops the gears. If I move the finger manually, you can see the assembly start to move. Normally that relay would be controlled either by the original radio circuitry, or in this case it'll be controlled by the FMR1 module. Once the dial moves from the left to the right, to move it back, it's controlled by solenoids. Now there's actually two solenoids in the back of this radio. One solenoid reloads these gears, because these gears aren't long enough to allow the dial to move all the way across the dial. It'll move about a third of the way, and then these gears need to be pulled back so that it can continue to move. You'll probably hear it reset twice as the dial pointer moves across the dial. Once it gets all the way to the end, the switches are triggered, and it triggers solenoid number two. Solenoid number two brings the entire assembly back to the left. It'll continue to do this motion back and forth, until the original radio circuitry, or in this case, the FMR1 board, tells it to stop on a station. Now that might sound a little complicated, so I'll just show you how this assembly works. Basically, we've got ground already set up and power to the relay, and this yellow lead, which I've got here, is used to trigger the relay. Once I ground it, the relay will energize, pull the finger out of the gearbox, and everything will start to move. If you listen, you'll be able to hear solenoid 1 resetting as the dial moves across. That's all there is to it. As long as this mechanism is clean, lubed correctly, and aligned right, this mechanism will move flawlessly from left to right, seeking stations for you. I hope you found this interesting, and if you need a restoration or a conversion on your Wonder Bar radio, please look us up at www.joesclassiccarradio.com. Talk to you soon!